Uh, I'm going to build and go again. It'll ask me to save the files I just uh, modified. And now you'll see our new interface shows up when we click on this. Nothing happens because we haven't told it to do anything yet, but we have a fully functioning application at this point <clears throat> that does something at least. So now we have to um, we have to do a couple different things. Let's let's get this button to do something, just something very basic when we click on it. All right. So I'm gonna open up, go to Run Console. I'm gonna show the console, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write a function that when we click on this button, it's going to send a message to this console. This is just for kind of like for testing purposes. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to go to the view controller because the view controller is what interfaces with the uh, interface, the UI, in order to uh, it receives the messages when when you tap on this with your finger, for example, it's going to do whatever function you tell it to do here. All right, so first we have to build the function and then we're going to link everything together so that it actually works. All right, so in the .h, viewcontroller.h file, uh, after the interface there, uh, type in dash IB action, and you'll see the, the uh, code will automatically uh, start writing itself for you if it's a keyword. And we'll call this click me and colon ID sender. All right, so this is kind of the nomenclature. IB action is, I believe, short for inter interface builder action. So what you have to do is, if you're not used to, like it was kind of weird for me when I first started uh, programming in uh, Objective C here, is that you have to declare the function in this file. I'm going to copy this, and then you have to actually write the function in the dot view controller dot m file. So I'm going to put it right before this dialloc function that they provided, and Okay, and I'm going to uh, inside this function. So you have a function name with a colon, and then the ID is is a pointer to any kind of object that you want to send to it. And we're going to call that sender. So we're not going to use any of these, the, like the the uh, the sender object that comes sent to this. Uh, but uh, actually, you might be able to get away with not typing that in there. But I'm going to leave it in because all the IP actions I've seen have that. So in case I need to use it later. So I'm going to write uh, printf, and I'll just write hello, backslash n, to give me a, a, that's the new line character, and then the colon. So what's weird is that some things need, for example, when you're, when you're <clears throat> sending a message to an object or, or using an object's uh, built-in features, you got to use the brackets and then the name of the object space and then the name of the function you want or method you want it to do but some of them these built-in ones you don't have to do that you just write it out like you would um, for example this would be like similar to the trace uh, function in flash alright so I'm gonna build and go save all these files and when we click here I'm gonna move this over so that we can see the simulator the, uh, the console at the same time but uh, it's not doing anything because we haven't told this uh, interface uh, we haven't actually linked up the interface and these files here so we have to do that in here what we have to do is now this is another thing where it gets a bit on the strange side um, so we have to click on the files owner I believe that's it go to connections what okay now, this screen capture software causes troubles with the interface builder sometimes, so I'm going to quit out of that and reopen it. Sometimes it doesn't respond. Okay, here we go. Files owner. All right. Now, I'm going to delete this. So what you do is, when you go into this information bar, on this tab here, you'll see the attributes. For example, if you click here on the button, you'll see the attributes for it on this tab and you'll see the connections which is basically for the button you'll see all the different functions that you can do if you touch inside a button or drag on it you'll be able to drag this to the different functions that have been outlaid in your file owner which is basically this this file here the the view controller all right if that made any sense at all but what we have to do is we have to kind of associate these things with each other we have to make the files owner associate with this 
view object. So we're going to drag the view from the connections. We're just going to drag it onto there. And now you'll see it's been associated. View is equal to linked up with this view. Now that we've done that, when we click on the button, and now when we drag from the touch up inside method down to here, unfortunately, the uh, I, I don't think my screen capture software is following this. You let go. You drag in there. When you let go, you'll see all the different functions that we've uh, created available to us. So right now, we just have the click me function. So I'm going to click on that. And you'll see here the touch up inside uh, ability of uh, the button has been linked to this function. So now I'm going to build and go again. I'm going to save it. All right, so now when I click this, as you'll see down here in the console, it is actually responding. It's sending a message to the console. All right, so that's the basics of that. And uh, if you wanted to do something more complex with the, the button clicks and stuff, then uh, I'll have to show you in some later tutorials. But that's the basics of it. So let's go over this again. Basics of creating uh, an application that does something is, of course, file new project. Okay, view based application. I'm going to cancel because we're all right. And then select under project. Set your active SDK. If you have um, already been assigned as a developer, then with through Apple, then you'll be able to actually simulate it on your phone instead. Um, if not, then you'll have to use the simulator. And then build and go. And then go into the view controller. Declare your function. Go into the view controller.m. Write your function. Open up the view controller.zip file. Not the main window one, but the view controller.zip. Go in here. <coughs> associate the files owner with the view by dragging the files own, the view into, into it. Then associate the button with the function from the files owner by dragging the touch up inside uh, dot onto the files owner uh, appropriate function and then build and go and then you're you're ready to roll all right so that is the basics of building these uh, things in the iPhone uh, SDK